الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ويلكم ماي دير ستودنتس ان شاء الله نكمل مع بعض منهج الترم التاني قبل اي حد ان شاء الله هتلاقوا الفاينل سوري الشيت بتاع يونت 3 هتلاقينا اول ناس منزلينه الحمد لله وكمان اول فيديو قبل اي حد هتلاقيه موجود على الشانل بتاعتنا والشانل بتاعت حضراتكم البروفيسور ان فيزكس هنكمل ان شاء الله النهارده السكند تيرم عندنا يونت 3 وي ار جوين توك اباوت فيول اند انرجي هنتكلم عن الطاقه والوقود فيرست وي ار جوين توك اباوت فيول يو شود نو ذات فيول لايك بنزين لايك كول ذي ستور وات هو كان ريمبر مي اكسلنت فيول ستور كيميكال انرجي اجين فيول ستور كيميكال انرجي از Uh, also we use uh, fuel to obtain energy again fuel store what excellent chemical energy and fuel is used to obtain chemical energy as you can see uh, in our daily life we have two sources of fuel like natural gas in our day in our uh, homes uh, and our daily lives we can use coal also to obtain excellent heat energy heat energy so natural gas and coal are used in cooking food to obtain heat energy again fuel store excellent chemical energy we use fuel to obtain excellent energy for uh, for examples in our daily life natural gas and coal they store what excellent they are fuel so they are they store chemical energy so they are used in cooking food to obtain heat excellent in our daily life also we have electric heater electric heater who can tell me the energy transformation in electric heater excellent it's called electric heater so it's used to change excellent electric energy into heat energy electric energy into heat energy excellent also in our home we have electric lamps electric lamps so electric lamps change excellent excellent electric energy into light and heat energy light and heat energy excellent thank you we have learned before that by increasing the height of the object it's excellent its potential energy increases by increasing the height its potential energy increases and the object stores excellent potential energy so in waterfalls water stores what at the highest point excellent it stores potential energy it stores potential energy so water stores potential energy and during its falling down potential energy changes into excellent into kinetic energy again water in waterfall stores potential energy and during it falling down when it falls down potential energy changes into excellent into kinetic energy so we can use this kinetic energy or the movement of water in number one rotating water wheels or miles We can use also we can use the movement of water in rotating turbines turbines which are used to generate electricity in high dams again the movement of water can be used in rotating number one water wheels and also can be used in rotating turbines which are used in generating electricity so scientists use sorry build dams scientists build dams to what excellent build dams to benefit from the water movement and generating electricity again engineers and scientists build dams on rivers to benefit from movement of what of water to generate excellent to generate electricity to generate electricity uh, so this movement of water is called hydroelectricity hydro electricity hydro means water hydroelectricity which is the kinetic energy of more of uh, water 
which is used in generating electricity. So it's called hydroelectricity. Also, dams have a lot of benefits, such as generating electricity. They also have a lot of harms. For example, number one, they block migration of fish. Number two, they trap sediments or minerals behind the dam. Number three, they passively affect on they passively affect on aquarium living organisms and fish, and also plants, aquarium plants. Number four, also dams uh, expose large area of water to the sun. They expose large area of water or more area of water to the sun. So this, is be this speeds up the evap evaporation process. Again, benefits of dams, they are used in generating electricity. But harms of dams, number one, block fish migration. Number two, trap. They trap the sediments and uh, minerals behind the dam. Number three, they passively affect on the aquarium plants and living organisms. Number four, the large area of water or large surface area of water behind the dam expose more water to the sun, to the, to the sun which increases or speeds up Nowadays, cellular phone is one of the most important devices in our daily life. So, who, who can tell me the energy transformation in cellular phone? It works by or, or it operates by excellent electric energy and it changes electric energy into excellent light and sound, light and sound energy. Again, in cellular phones, electric energy changes into Excellent, light and sound, excellent. So, how can we obtain electric energy that is used in operating cellular phones and most of equipment in our daily life? Who can tell me one way which we can use to obtain electric energy? Excellent batteries, what else? Excellent, we can use solar cells, solar cells to obtain electric energy as in solar cells solar energy coming from the sun like heat and light of the sun is converted into electric energy in solar cells again in solar cells solar energy is changed into excellent into electric energy into electric energy In toy car and game plane, both of them operate by space energy. Who can tell me? Excellent, they work by electric energy. They operate by electric energy. So without energy, electric equipment don't operate. Again, without, without energy, electric equipment don't operate. So when the battery is empty, we should, number one, they charge it or replace it again when the battery of the uh, game plane or toy car is empty what what will we do excellent we should recharge it or replace it Mars is the next planet to Earth and the distance between Earth and Mars is about 54 million kilometers. So Mars exploration rovers take about 6 months to reach or to land on Mars surface. You should know that man did not 
land on Mars yet, but man sends a lot of exploration rovers to Mars's surface. For example, the most famous exploration rover sent to Mars is Curiosity robot. Curiosity robot is the first and the most famous exploration rover sent to Mars's surface. It's difficult to obtain electric energy on Mars's surface to operate Curiosity robot. So we have two methods to obtain electric energy on Mars's surface. The first one using long lasting batteries. The next one is solar cells. A solar energy can be changed into kinetic energy, heat energy, electric energy, and so on.